and welcome back to another cool RenPy video tutorial. So today we're going to do the most basic of basic in uh, customizations. This is the first part of the customizing the UI series of videos in this tutorial set. Uh, so in this one we're going to look at how to edit the quick menu. The quick menu is the small text tags that appear at the very bottom of the screen underneath the um, games say screen so we'll have a quick look at it just to see what we have so if we go into the game as you can see under here history skip auto save quick save and preferences as you can see that's that's the quick menu down there and we're going to look at how to either change it or to hide it um, to make it uh, to, you know it's the first part of our customization so all we're doing is we're coming into screens.rpy and we're going to keep scrolling down past the input screen past the choice screen as you can see quick menu screen is here as you can see if quick menu which means that there's a flag somewhere set where we can hide that and all we've got here is an H box lined along the bottom the style prefix is quick, so that's where the properties are set up. It's got an X line of 0, which means it's in the middle, and it's got a Y line of 1, which means it's at the very, very bottom. And then all we've got is a list of links, text button back, history, skip, auto, quick save, quick load, preferences, etc. So the first thing that we can do is if we just want to hide this, we could just use our pound sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it, and we could just comment out that like so. Now that would now no longer appear in the game. Um, it would be nothing. So all those all those text tags at the bottom would disappear, which is perfectly fine. La -di -da -di -da. So what other options do we have available to us? Well, if we wanted to, we could change this into a V box and have it on the left hand side of the screen. So, for example, if we went on to V box and we change the X align to 0, 0, and we save our project, and now we launch our project. As you can see, now the quick menu appears here on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, like so. And it's now vertically aligned. So let's say we wanted to put it somewhere else in the screen, but not in one of the corners or one of the edges or in the middle somewhere. So let's close that down. So we're going to change this um, these properties. We're going to comment these out, and we're going to change them. And we instead we're going to type in x pos and y pos. Now these are coordinates, so we could say, let's say I want it to appear about here. This is a 1920 by 1080 screen, so let's say that's about 1750. And we want this to be about 960. Now that's probably a bit short, let's change that to 850. Now if we put that in like so. Now, as you can see there, it's appeared down there, so my coordinates weren't great. I'm still quite a long way down, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll change this to 650. And we'll change that to 1650. And we'll see where that comes out. Now, as you can see there, blah, 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 perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted with that, but obviously we don't we don't want to do that for now. But that's one of the adjustments we can make, like so. Other things that we can do to customize this menu if we really wanted to is that we could change these to image buttons. Um, I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because this is meant to be a very very quick fly through but I will be covering image buttons in a later video so stay tuned for that one but that's a really really simple way of how to customize the quick menu to hide the items in the menu or to move them about the screen thanks very much for watching bye bye